This is the power and startup tutorial for the Kinova robotic arm. When powering up the device, you need to make sure it's on the stop, then plug it in. The AC power runs through this into the power brick and from the power brick through the emergency stop button. The DC current runs through to the robotic arm. When the emergency stop button is down, there is no power to the robotic arm. To power up the arm, you need to turn and it will pop up. The robot arm is now powered. When starting up the arm, you lift it off the table and make sure that none of the joints are at their limits. And then once you've done that, press the start button for three seconds. One and two and three and release. The blue light will flash as the processor starts up. Once the top line turns green, the robotic claw will open and close and you can then release the arm, which happens now. So you can now release the arm and it has now started up. If you ever need to turn off the robot in emergency, just press the emergency stop button and the robot will power down. There are passive mechanics in the arm itself to slow the drop, but you still need to catch to make sure that no damage is done to the arm or the table. So to power for robotic arm, support it and then press the emergency stop button. Then slowly drop it down to the table. In this tutorial, we'll run through the demonstration mode of the Kinovo robotic arm. So there's two main modes, the Cartesian mode here, Cartesian coordinates, and null space mode. First, we'll display the Cartesian mode. So if you press the button and hold it, the robot will now move in Cartesian coordinates, up and down, depending on the force applied by yourself. So if, it, if you push down, it will go down, you pull those come out. In the controller in the base there is singularity detection and joint lock detection to make sure um, you don't put it in any states that could damage the robot. So a demonstration of this is if you try and pull out it'll lock itself up to stop singularities. and the good demonstrations here, it's quite tough to move. Okay, that's Cartesian space. Null space keeps the end effector at the same point and then lets you move whatever degrees of freedom are left. So if I press this, I can now rotate the arm, but if any force is applied to the end effector, the controller uh, compensates. And this, during this mode, it will also detect singularities and joint lock, making sure no damage or irregular behavior happens. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing manual mode using the controller. The controller is plugged in around the back in one of a few USB ports. There's also an Ethernet port and cord you can see plugged in here. This is for software control, but this will not be covered in this tutorial. The controls are quite basic using the joysticks to control the arm. The most important ones are the safety soft stop here, where you can see the light turns red, and then resume, which is here. So an example of this is you can control the arm, but then when safety stop is enabled, the arm can no longer be controlled. To resume, press resume, light goes green, and control is then enabled again. So the controls are quite basic using the joysticks to control it, but for more details on this, look at the official user manuals. Also for software control, uh, look at the user manuals for more details on connecting and using the APIs and software.